Uh, hi everyone. Uh, in this uh, demo, we will uh, show a simple project with uh, continuous integration, continuous deployment with uh, Docker, Jenkins, and uh, Qtum. Uh, so this is, uh, you know, the uh, an overview of what we'll uh, demo here. So basically, I have a project in uh, GitHub which counts the number of web hits, and uh, there is a trigger from GitHub to uh, three particular uh, scenarios. Uh, one that goes through Docker Hub, uh, which will create a container, and uh, one more which goes through a Jenkins uh, flow, which will uh, spawn a Docker slay, which will create a container, and finally we'll deploy that. And uh, the last one with uh, the same trigger will kick off a Tutum uh, an application with a Tutum stack, which again has creates a counter container and deploys it through the uh, stack file. So basically, this is the uh, application that I have in the GitHub. So let's quickly walk through what the components of the application is. So there is a you know Python file. It's a Flask application which basically you know, does the uh, web hit increment. And uh, we have a Docker file which will basically you know, create the container. And we have a Docker compose file which is composed of two containers. One is the web which is basically using the source code that is present here. And then we have a Redis container here. So here uh, we have the, uh, uh, the first uh, part of the project. Basically, this is a, inside the Docker Hub. I have a container which is hit counter demo, which is kind of linked to the uh, GitHub project for the particular master branch. And here I have set the build settings to be active so that whenever there is a change in the GitHub, uh, the Docker Hub will uh, spawn a container and uh, you know, check in there. So here uh, we are in the second part of the project, which is you know I am I am in the Tutum dashboard here. So I have one node that is deployed in AWS. So here I have a repository, which is, uh, you know, the count repository, which is basically a con container. And uh, if we look at what this uh, container is does, it's pretty much linked to my uh, GitHub uh, repository, which is the hit counter demo repository. So if we look at inside the Tutum stack, so I have a counter stack, which is composed of, if you look at the stack file here, it is composed of two containers, Redis in the web. And the web container is uh, from the repository that we looked earlier. And here we have set an auto deploy, redeploy flag to true. So whenever there is a new container that gets committed inside the Tutum private repository, it's going to click off this uh, stack application. So currently I've already have the application running. So if I look at, uh, you know, the the web hits so currently I have set the counter to be one so basically that means it's going to count uh, once per every web hit okay so this is the third part of the project where I have uh, Jenkins uh, running as a container inside my Ubuntu machine basically uh, so this is uh, the part that we're going through here uh, you know where Jenkins is going to trigger a Docker slave uh, which is going to build the container and uh, deploy it. So here there are multiple configurations to be done in Jenkins. So we'll just walk through some of the things. So, so the first thing is, you know, we have to uh, integrate GitHub plugin and uh, the Docker plugins to Jenkins so that we can do it from the manage plugin uh, here option. And the other option is creating a dynamic Docker slave to uh, to make the container build. So these are the configurations that are necessary to do that. The first step is we have to add a new cloud, which is of type Docker. I've already created the cloud. So let me just walk through the different uh, settings that are necessary here. Uh, so I have basically uh, a Docker image that I have created. Uh, so I'll just walk through what it is contained here. So this is the Docker file for the Docker image that I have mentioned inside the Jenkins. So this is uh, derived from the Jenkins slave. I have installed a few packages that I need uh, for this particular Docker image. And I, we need to create a label 
and this label will be used when we create a build job and uh, another thing that would be necessary is we need to mount these volumes uh, so this is necessary to be able to uh, you know build the docker container using the docker engine on the slave host uh, rather than using the docker engine in the container itself so that is pretty much what uh, these two commands are doing so so we would use docker compose and docker and the socket from the host machine itself so that the container that will be created would be like a sibling container rather than a you know child container and the uh, so here we have mentioned docker url itself so here for in this particular ubuntu mission i am exposing the docker engine uh, using this particular port uh, so this is you know pretty much the uh, the docker engine configuration itself the next part is the project that we have created inside the doc inside the jenkins so if we look at what this particular project is so here this is a project to build and deploy the docker container so this first part is here we are saying uh, build this inside a docker container and restrict this to this docker slave one which is what we specified when we uh, wanted to create a slave image and the next step is we are saying you know pick the code from this github repository and use the master branch and then in this part here since i my jenkins is not exposed externally i am pulling the uh, you know the github every 5 minutes so when there is a change it's going to automatically trigger the build and here is where i am publishing uh, doing a docker publish to this particular container inside the docker hub with this particular tag and i am doing this on my machine so here uh, i am running the slave on the master itself this is not you know typically uh, you know not done but it, you know i didn't have two nodes i am doing it like this and once the container is successfully built i am deploying the container here and i have already so this is my master node and i have already deployed it so i see uh, one which is my jenkins which is running and these are the two containers of the application that uh, i have done and here if we uh, you know see that the web hits or you know basically it's every time i do the access it increments by 1 so what we'll do now is uh, we'll just change the application make a small change instead of counting by 1 for every hit i will change this to 2 and then we can you know commit it so what this is going to do is uh, trigger uh, you know three uh, commits here as uh, shown here so it's going to trigger a build in docker hub jenkins it's going to trigger to create a container and deploy and it's also going to trigger tutum to create a container and deploy so here i can see that uh, inside the docker hub my build job is queued here so it's going to make a new container because i have you know made a change so i'm inside tutum currently so the tutum is currently building the new container as soon as this build is done it's going to automatically trigger the stack file building so let's give it a few minutes so here we can see that uh, the container is successfully committed inside the tutum and if we go and look at the stacks so it's going to redeploy the uh, stack and we can uh, check from the uh, the counter so here the containers that has already been redeployed and if we look at the timeline it should tell us you know there is a push Uh, just like you know, one minute back. So now the containers are running. If you look at the endpoints now, the counter should increment by two, and uh, as expected, we are seeing the counter increment by two. So here we are in Jenkins, and uh, we can see that an automatic trigger of the build is uh, going on within the Jenkins itself. So we can uh, we can even go to the job and check you know what is happening. If we can look at the console of Jenkins. so it's basically pushing a new docker image so now we can see that that uh, it is built successfully now we can look at the counter to check it's incrementing by 2 and as expected it is incrementing by 2
Thanks for watching.